Hey guys, it's Lucy and today we are going for a run. If you have been to my channel before, hello, come on in, you know what to do, get those trainers on. But if you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Lucy, I am on a running and weight loss journey. I started my journey back in 2020, I weighed 230 pounds, I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds, I looked all over the internet for someone who I could relate to, who had been in a place where I had been, knew the struggles that I knew, and actually got to where I wanted to be at, which was running marathons. And because I couldn't find that overweight, sweaty runner that was getting out there and doing it, I decided to make the content that I needed to see way back then. So if this is the kind of content that you need, then why don't you hit that subscribe button and come on along. There's plenty of room for everyone. If you're looking for a virtual running buddy, then I'm here. Let's get those trainers on and let's go running. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone out a bit earlier than I have because there's just people everywhere and I don't like filming myself and people seeing me so if you're watching this then give this video a thumbs up for support because uh, I don't know why I cringe so much but filming in public while running is awkward like I don't like going around corners and filming in case there's someone around the corner and we're gonna be like face to face yeah awkward <laughs> anyway that's enough of me moaning we're here to run together so i have no idea on a route no idea on how many miles i want to run so that's never a good idea you should really plan i know that sometimes if i plan something one minute i just need to stretch my calves off actually i might do it over there I know that sometimes if I've made a plan I like to do what I've set out to do but it's not possible every time and on the days that it's not possible you feel really bad about yourself I'm gonna find a post and stretch on it that looks like a good stretching post and I can see from this side and this side if anyone's coming <laughs> while I'm filming myself the opposite to not having a plan is obviously having a plan and then when that plan isn't done I feel really bad about myself hold on the postman's driving past Oh my god, look, I carried on. Look, there he is. Look. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. Anyway, but when you don't have, when I don't have a plan, I don't want to talk for anyone else, but if I don't have a plan, I end up cutting it short, especially if I'm not been running for a while because I am coming back from injury. So I tend to cut it short. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go easy on myself, you know? And then I don't get a lot done. But no, I think I need to at least have a rough idea of a minimum of four miles. So yeah <laughs> but why does that feel so daunting today i'm honestly i'm not worried about pace i'm just going to take it nice and easy slow and steady i'm not going to mess myself over because i've actually got a half marathon booked for next month that i forgot about so i never thought i'd be that person but i have a half marathon booked and i completely forget about it like when i first started running the thought of running at all just freaked me out and was so daunting all day the thought of having a half marathon booked in would just consume my everyday life in pure panic <laughs> but we get there. Anyway, stretching and then I'm gonna get going. We've got this. I'm not even a mile done and I realized I didn't have a wee before I come out. So I'm gonna head back because I need a wee wee. Hope you don't mind. I don't worry, I won't be filming that. Don't you worry. <laughs> guys I'm really struggling 2.3 miles 2.4 miles <laughs> I've not had a consistent run since the marathon obviously I needed to first of all recover and then I needed to recover from the niggles that I had pre and post marathon so I'm just not conditioned to this really but I, just, but I really want to run and I know I can but I've just got to push through this, keep going. But I'm just really struggling. I'm actually gonna have a break to get a thumbnail, so <laughs> vlog a <of> life. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm nearly at three miles and I'm really, really struggling. I just don't feel good. Everything feels stiff and my hips starting to be sore. I don't feel like I'm running properly. It's crazy how fit I once was, but your fitness just doesn't stay. You have to keep working. You have to be consistent. It's not just about improving. It's about keeping keeping it up but you know look at me i've not given up and neither should you if you're feeling low you've had a bad run you're trying to get back on it just keep going my arms aching i'll speak to you in a bit i'm gonna try slowing it down because my legs feel awful don't want to move i just feel sluggish so i'm gonna slow it down see how i cope after that because i want to get a good few miles done but i'm battling between mileage and energy you know <laughs> am i making sense i'm delirious I'm just gonna take a bit of a walking break. I've paused my watch, so this isn't gonna count towards my mileage, but I did four miles. <laughs> and I told, oh, did you see that? I tell you now, the entire time, the entire four miles, I didn't wanna be doing it. Well, I did wanna be doing it, but I didn't think I could do it. And I've done it. So I just need this little break because I tried to slow down but there's people everywhere. Naturally, you just pick up pace. I do it to get away from people. <laughs> yeah, proper struggle today, proper. Like, I don't know. I don't wanna call it a bad run, cause it's not, no run really is a bad run, but it's a bad run. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going though. I've paused it, I've not stopped the run, which is a good sign, so. I've got at least another mile in me. Well, I've said it now, so. Right, there's people coming, so I'm gonna go. trainers off <laughs> yeah so five miles done i did do a bit of a run earlier on this week it really wasn't far at all it, it was like one and three quarter miles but i got to shake my legs off and i got out and i tested how recovered i was from my injuries i did feel better but i really felt sluggish and honestly guys like i have not being in a really good headspace recently i think the lack of running yeah the lack of running is really not helping my mindset and i mean I, I ran five miles today i'm really happy i got out i got up and i ran five miles i even managed to get a video together and i've captured a bad run and i think the reason i started this channel was to make the videos that i needed to see and oh my god look how grimy they are <laughs> part of that is i needed to see people struggling I have, I mean, I'm in my marathon top and I'm out here and I'm struggling. So I'm just trying to keep it real and I'm glad that I've managed to capture it today, to be fair. And it's very tempting to just post all of the good stuff, you know? Is it me sitting on the stairs if Storm doesn't get his nose in? <laughs> so if you're online and you're looking for people to follow, to inspire you to get out and run, just know that they are showing you their best bits. And that's okay that they do that. It is motivating, it is encouraging. But do you know what? Sometimes I just wanna see someone overweight, out on a run, thinking they cannot do this. This is so hard. I can't breathe, my legs are hurting, I'm in pain. But do you know what? I've done it. And that is exactly what I filmed today. So <laughs> I really hope you enjoy running with me today. And I really hope Storm shuts up. <laughs> If you're watching this and you haven't already, why not hit that subscribe button and join us, become a virtual running buddy. And I will see you guys next week for some more updates. Bye guys.